I'm Brian May in Coffee Park, one of the hardest hit areas in the city of Santa Rosa. You can see the devastation behind me and know that the road to recovery is going to be long. But today, the first steps on that road, EPA teams coming through doing household hazardous waste sweeps, beginning the process of rebuilding. So we are collecting any visible household hazardous waste. And so that includes all the, the normal chemicals that anybody might have in their garage, things like propane tanks, paint, solvents, uh, pesticides, fertilizer, uh, car, car maintenance items. So our crews have basic monitoring equipment. We're looking for volatile organic compounds. We're looking for radiation, just you know, making sure that we protect the health and safety of our workers. And so they're carrying instrumentation for that. It is really hard to imagine what this neighborhood must have looked like when the fire just ripped through here on that Monday morning. Most of the people had to leave with nothing but the clothes on their backs. Don Millerick was one of those who left that morning. He left about four o'clock in the morning. Don has lived on Bannon Street for 41 years, raised his family here, twin daughters and a son. Don was able to come back today to finally get his two vintage cars. Drove through the drive through tree way up in Northern California in it. Don says he first returned to his Coffee Park home the day after the fire went through. From a distance, he could see the 40-year-old redwood trees that once stood proud in his backyard. And Don knew if those trees hadn't escaped the fire, neither had his house. But after seeing EPA crews cleaning up today and attending a community meeting at Santa Rosa High School last night, Don is now more optimistic that he and his neighbors will rebuild. Oh yeah, I feel way better. The fact that I was able to come in here and not be under duress getting the few things out of here that I wanted. I'm, I'm still a little unsettled, wishy-washy about those decisions, but right. I'm working on it, you know, getting my head screwed on straight. Don Millerick is, for now, leaving with his prized VW, but he vows he will be back, he will rebuild. For all of us at Cal OES and our partner agencies, I'm Brian May.